The extreme heat this week has had a negative effect on our air quality level. Steve Iwanek, he joins us live in the newsroom tonight. So Steve, what are the experts telling you? Well, Jeff, air quality levels in our area have seemingly been playing a, a game of seesaw. They've been rising and they've been falling. Now, the experts I spoke with say that this is actually pretty normal, but that shouldn't mean that we should not keep an eye on it. Summer heat. We know it causes you to sweat and drink extra water, but it also plays a role in the air we breathe. And in Ohio, the air has taken a hit. So what we're looking at right now is ground level ozone. So more than the particulate, which you saw from the wildfires. Ground level ozone, something the US EPA says can be dangerous, a main ingredient for smog. To track it, the Ohio EPA uses the Air Now Air Quality Monitoring System. It's a system that detects levels nationwide. This week, Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan was labeled in the moderate category. So how does this happen? You have things like tailpipe emissions, you have um, exhaust, really, and when that reacts with organic materials in sunlight, and then there's no wind, there's no rain to wash it out of the air, no wind to move it, it, it wow. builds up as ground level ozone. The record heat this week, a perfect recipe for it. You have kind of a perfect storm. It's sunny, it's dry, and it's still. Air now recommends for those in moderate zones that, quote, if you are unusually sensitive to ozone, consider reducing your activity level or shorten the amount of time you are active outdoors, end quote. Vogel did say that when it rains, the levels improve. Doctors are not overly concerned, but are always urging sensitive groups to take caution and protect themselves. We recommend that they take it easy. And so uh, while, you know, you may need to carry out your duties, you may need to rest more, not exert yourself quite as much. And if you notice that you're developing symptoms, get inside, get into an area where you're not exposed to that same level. Now, Vogel recommended to me that everybody should be using the AirNow system as it collects raw data from national organizations such as NASA, the CDC, and the National Park Service to constantly update those readings. Reporting in the newsroom, Steve Iwanek, WTOL 11. Let's bring John back into the mix now. And Steve, I'm sure you're going to be interested in this. So, John, what is the current air quality? Is there any cause for concern? Well, air quality is higher than it typically would be. But as Steve reported, we do see elevated air quality levels as a result of the heat and humidity and also that very still air. So the latest data still puts us in that moderate category with a level around 63. So if you are one of those individuals with a respiratory condition or elderly, keep in mind you may want to minimize outdoor time if the heat wasn't enough of a reason. In Port Clinton seeing 66 down towards Crawford County, 60, 54 currently in Putnam County. So all in that same ballpark of the moderate level of air quality. Now compared to last summer when we had an extreme wildfire smoke, our AQI was over 200 at times. Right now we are in that moderate category, which is acceptable for most, but may cause minor sensitivity, especially if you're in one of those more vulnerable groups. Now as they explained in that story, it actually has to do with a chemical reaction that is triggered by the sunshine chemical compounds known as nitrogen oxides break down and react and those nitrogen oxides come from emissions and pollution so in other words the sunshine actually causes a chemical reaction and those pollutants form ground level ozone and the development of that ozone near the earth's surface can cause smog and a bit of a hazy appearance now other weather variables can actually improve conditions rain and pop-up thunderstorms can help the rainfall actually helps disperse that particular matter. So every time we get some rain that can improve things. That being said, some areas have stayed bone dry this week and are seeing elevated air quality levels. Calm winds, stagnant conditions also make the AQI or air quality worse. And tomorrow there is going to be a bit of a breeze. So I'm not expecting any air quality concerns this weekend and the drop in humidity going to cause conditions to improve to that good category by Monday. We'll keep you updated, especially as we inevitably deal with more of that wildfire smoke later this summer.